Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're going to do some DoorDash Earn by Time. We are in the process of raising our acceptance rate. We sitting here by Firehouse Subs. We got Chipotle right there. Freddy's. Let's see what comes in first. It's also a Snooks right here. I'm trying to get this acceptance rate up. I'm currently sitting at a 42 the last time I checked. Let's go ahead and have a look. Oh, first order came in. We got wing stop 4.4 miles. $15 an active hour, estimated time 25 minutes, delivered by 417, the time right now is 352, so that looks like it's plenty of time to deliver. My biggest concern on this order is, it's a wing stop order and it's going over by the college campus. I'm trying to raise my acceptance rate, so I will be taking this, but I would like them to send me an add-on, and hopefully it's a tip. They don't be really tipping like that. I'm pretty close to Wingstop. Let's see if they let me check in on this order. Nope. They Yep, yep, they will. Okay, we picking up for Sarah. Sarah got two things of dip, some seasoned fries, buffalo ranch fries, medium eight-piece wing combo. Doesn't seem too bad. Pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and check all of these boxes before we head on over. Wingstop is just in this next plaza right over there, so we really close. Let's see, let's check the pickup time on this. Pickup time on this order is around 3.56, so it's gonna be ready in three minutes. All right, nice little first order, four mile delivery distance. Hopefully we get an add on, let's head on over. I wonder if they got this order ready. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, they got it ready, we good to go. No drink. Whenever I pick up Wingstop and the order is ready, it's a higher chance it's no tip. So Sarah, if it ain't no tip on this, me and you got some problems. In today's video, we're going to be doing some DoorDash Earn by Time. So we're probably going to be delivering to a lot of non-tippers. Make sure you pray for me while you watch this video, okay? Because it's going to get real, real crazy. I guarantee you that. All right, we made it to drop off number one. Let's see what we got going on on this first order. All right, first order, we got it done. Leave that door. Come on, Sarah. Five dollar tip. Let's go. We got five dollar tip. Four dollars and seventy four cents in base pay. Took us nineteen minutes to get that knocked out. That's perfect. See what they send me next. Order 6 miles at Viva La Fiesta. This one is going smack dab in the middle of the college campus now. I got 18 seconds left. Let me go ahead and accept that before I miss it. We will be taking that. Viva La Fiesta is right up here, so that's perfect. And uh, I'm I'm really hoping to get an add-on, man. What is going on? They have not been coming through with the add-ons like they have in the past. And that's how you get your AR up. Let's see. I'm made a 43. Man, it seemed like every three orders my acceptance rate go up. We had a nice little local spot right here. We got Viva La Fiesta, Wayne Gang, Taj Indian Cuisine, and Chappies. This is a nice little plaza to post up and look for orders or wait for orders. But we got one, so we'll, there will be no looking and no waiting today. We had no here. We're picking up for Bruce. Bruce has one Fiesta Fajita. Bruce is a college kid. Bruce probably did not leave a tip on this order. I'm gonna cross my fingers. Look, Bruce got one item. <clears throat> Let's go pick up Bruce's one item. See if they got Bruce order ready. If you are new to DoorDash, Earn By Time is a feature that you can use to increase your acceptance rate, you are more likely to see orders with no tips or small tips. So Earn By Time will give you access to more order volume, pulling from a different pool of orders, orders that are all over on the Earn By Time side of the app. But again, if you already over 50%, you probably gonna be able to get orders consistently in your market as long as you know, is busy enough and it's the right time of day but if it's a slow time and you got a small acceptance rate do some earn by time that way at least your base pay will be high on the orders you do why are you trying to increase your acceptance rate 
Now you do get one decline per hour, but let's be real, sometimes that ain't enough. It really don't be enough. But you waiting on the uh, DoorDash order? Here you go, for Bruce. Mind if I get a uh, confirmation picture real quick, boss? Appreciate it, man. Have a good one, man. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Great weather we got, man. Enjoy it. it really nice. Heck yeah, say 82 right now. I couldn't believe it. Really? Yeah. It feels like a yeah, it's a good 82, that's for sure. That yeah. Well, in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have a good one. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. We got our DoorDash order dropped off. That was the best college kid I ever had. I thought I was gonna have to walk over to these dorms and I didn't even have to walk over there. Very first time this has happened. I got my confirmation picture because you know I don't play no games. Let's go ahead and submit that and then we can go ahead and confirm that. He might actually be a tipper because he was so polite, so thoughtful. I'm gonna go ahead and cross my fingers and hope that he a tipper. Let's go ahead and sit you guys right there and we gonna confirm this, boom. I think he might have been a tipper. He was. He a $3 tipper. I knew it. Something told me just off the fact that he was right here in the parking lot. You see how far away the dorms he is. Like, it's a, it's a little walk across the grass. So I was like, is this guy standing here waiting on this order? Because I've delivered up here hundreds of times. This never happened. I sat there, had a little conversation with him. He was very polite. I'm thinking to myself, like, you know what? This ain't no average college kid. This guy kind of smart. He, had, he threw a $3 tip on there. You know what? That restaurant ain't even three miles away. So if I'm calculating my miles to money ratio, that's a good customer right there. He definitely learning something up there at that college. That's for sure. Well, we a little bit outside of the zone just because the college campus kind of, depending on which edge you in, it puts you on a different side of the zone just barely. But we finna travel a mile back this way, back towards Viva La Fiesta, see if we can get order number three. But before we do that, let me go ahead and see what the acceptance rate looking like. What? 42? Bro, DoorDash be playing games, man. They be playing. I was just at a 43. Accepted that, now I'm at a 42. This is what I'm talking about. It's going to be so hard to get to 50% when they playing these games. Man, DoorDash is playing with this acceptance rate nonsense. We got firehouse subs, 3.2 miles, estimated time, 18 minutes, $15 an active hour. They got me sitting here. Man, I'm about to go ahead. Firehouse Subs is right down there. We about to go ahead and take this, man. This is going to be order number three right here. Golly, let's see what they got. We should be close enough. They be playing. I'm close enough. I'm right here. Come on, I'm basically across the street. Look, one item. What is with these one item customers, man? This is getting ridiculous. Let's go ahead and get over here. I'm checking all the boxes. You know how I do. I ain't playing no games. Order number three. Oh, okay, they got two sandwiches. Okay, at least it's two sandwiches this time. That's better than one. Because I'm tired of picking up one sandwich or one burrito or, you know, one personal pan-sized pizza. Like, come on, now, DoorDash, you got to do us a little bit better than that. Order number three. Let's go ahead and get this dropped off, man. Look, if you struggling out there trying to raise your acceptance rate as well, you know, go ahead and hit that like button for your boy because it's definitely a struggle out here. At least it's a beautiful day. You know, it's clear skies. 80 degrees on the thermometer right there on the thermostat we're doing good it was just 50 degrees a week ago this this weather in st louis is very bipolar you know the st louis region weather one day it could be up one day it could be down it could be snow and rainbows at the same time looks starbucks packed all right let's see what they got going on down here wide angle let's go ahead and bag that on out traffic ain't too bad surprisingly it can get kind of hectic over here once the college kids get out and they get ready to start partying. And then they also building a Panda Express and a Raising Canes. I think the Panda Express is going to be down there. Raising Canes, they building that right there. Definitely going to be looking forward to picking up some orders at these new spots. All right, we're picking up two sandwiches for Christine. I need this to be ready. Try to get four orders done today. Oh, thank you. You got something? Yes. Hello. I am picking up an order for Christine. She got two Italians. Thank you. Awesome. How you doing today? I'm pretty good. How are you? Not too bad. How do I look? <laughs> you look great. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. You have a great day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you, thank you. Excuse me. All right, all right. Order was ready to go. We heading up the street with this one. We're gonna be heading up that way. Let's see if we can take the back street so we can avoid that traffic. Let's see what it's gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and confirm it together in real time. Order number three, what the tip gonna be. It looked like it's something on there. Woo, a $7 tip? That was the best customer I didn't had all day. Let's go. And the next order came in right away. Order number four, I ain't playing no more. We got 5.9 miles at Chipotle. I love it because it's drive-through pickup and it's a high chance we may get an add-on. Chipotle is a nice, this Chipotle in my zone is a good one. I know a lot of zones, you may not have a great Chipotle. Mine is A1, day one. We finna head over. I hope I get that, that add-on. I, I need that add-on to put the icing on top of the cake. Now this is gonna be my fourth offer in a row that I've accepted. And to make it even better, DoorDash just hit me with the message saying so-and-so order is ready for pickup. So I ain't even worried about it. I already knew that by the time I got over there and made it through the drive-thru, give or take if it's some folks in the drive-thru or not, I already knew by the time I got over there it was gonna be ready. But that's just one of the things I love about picking up at Chipotle that when it is ready, they boom, they be right on top of it. They hit that button inside they DoorDash merchant app and they let the dasher know, hey, this order is ready for pickup. So ain't no worry, you don't got to unassign this one. You ain't even got to trip at all. Only thing you got to worry about is, will you get an add on when you get there? And if you do, you pick that up through the drive through too. Yes, sir, we pulling up to Chipotle right now. I see one car. Nope, no cars in the drive through We good. Earned by time. They didn't send me no new offer, but that's okay. Let's see who we picking up for. We are picking up for a random customer. Random customer number one. Let's see what a random customer number one got. Jaden. Jaden that out. He got three items. So we not just picking up one freaking burrito bowl. Let's go. And look, if you've been enjoying this video and you've been enjoying the fact that I have not been cussing all throughout this video, hit that like and that subscribe button for me. You already know. We're picking up for Jaden right now. Let's sit this right here. How you doing? I'm picking up for Jaden. For Jaden? Yeah, Jaden Jay. My dog. Appreciate it. It's a contactless delivery with no apartment number. So I'm just gonna sit here right here and take a picture. That's the best I can do. Cause how do I know who apartment to go to? All right, we got it dropped off. Got it confirmed. Might be a zero dollar tip cause that was a, a stressful delivery. Man, how did I know? How did I know? We got a zero dollar tip from the college kid. I got a good college kid the other day, but no, nah, not today. We got a 578 base pay, zero dollar tip. All right, so I think I've been out here for like two hours. Let me see. Yep, been out here since 3.30. The time is 5.30. We sitting at $34.97. The map just expanded. You know, it's not good for two hours of work, but we is using the earn by time feature. I got 30 minutes left on this little shift. Woo! That is not happening. 12.6 miles? Nah. They already done played me on my acceptance rating too. Yeah, we won't be taking that. We finna decline that. Decline and end dash? Oh my goodness, man. That's crazy. So if I decline this, that's gonna end my dash. That's absolutely crazy. Yep, I guess we ending it then because uh nope, I'm not taking that. And look, they gonna have me end it, but then they say it's busy so I can dash now. That's wild. Well, I guess we finna dash now. I'm glad I didn't take that order because I'm still at 40%. It didn't even matter. Like, I did all them orders. My acceptance rate went down. DoorDash is changing, man, for real, because, you know, <laughs> this is crazy. And look at this, 750 for 6.8 miles. No, sir, we will not be taking that one. Let's go ahead and decline that with the full force of our decline finger see if we can get something a little bit better come on doordash what is this nine dollars and 25 cents for 11.6 miles basically 12 miles that's crazy no 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 that's absolutely crazy we got to grab a screenshot of that bad boy hold on hit that decline button you know what i think i'm just gonna go ahead and give up i tried you know i gave it like a week 
try and earn by time. I took a few bad orders, more than a few, more than a few. I took a few long distance deliveries, but I delivered to so many non-tippers, you know, so many clown customers, so many trash customers in my market and the market above mine. I don't think I can take no more. So you know what I think moving forward, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to the original way of earn by offer. Look at this, we got 450. 3.4 miles at Taco Bell. Now, if that was a one mile order, maybe I would do it, but no. For 3.4 miles, no, that is not happening. Look, we're gonna go ahead and decline that along with them other ones, because that's crazy. That's crazy. My acceptance rate, you know, when I was at 30%, making my way up to 40, I was seeing the increase with every order. Everything was going good, but the closer I got to 50% acceptance rate, I was at, I think at 1.43. The, you know, the closer I got, it was like, inevitably, I had to realize that it was just going to be impossible because either they sent me a 12-mile delivery distance that I'm not going to take, taking me out of my zone, or, you know, I do a situation where I do two, three orders in a row, and my acceptance rate don't change. And I get it. It don't change from every single order. But when you below 50%, the statistics say every other order should raise your rating because even if you declined a few in a row... Even if you're below 50, you should see an increase with every one you do. Look at this, $5, four miles? No, it's not happening. Who, no. I know them bad orders out there and they just gonna have to stay out there because I'm not taking that. You know, I was, <laughs> I, I really thought that I had a good chance to raise my AR. I really, really did. It's not happening because if you, you know, if you, <laughs> unless you're just accepting every order, you're just doing two or three, it's going to be impossible because if you're trying to straight up work a ship and make good money, you can't take these crazy offers. It's working for free. Now, we got $10.25, 5.6 miles. I can take that. But look how many I had to decline. Look how many I had to decline just to get to this point. That's why it's going to be so hard to raise this acceptance rate. And look, I ain't going to cry about it. I ain't going to cuss about it. It is what it is, but I really wanted to give it another shot. I really did. I know that Dasher Rewards program is going to be coming to markets very soon. I know it. So I wanted to give it a shot, try to raise my AR. I know it ain't going to be reset, no acceptance rates no more. I get it. But man, after the last few weeks I've had with the DoorDash platform, I'm going to go ahead and keep it 100 with you. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with Earn by Time. You know, if I get a schedule and I can get on accepting orders by Earn by Offer, I'll do that. I'll decline them low ball, no tip offers. I'll decline them high mileage offers. And if they pause me in my dash, it is what it is. I'm gonna just have to multi-app and do something else in the meantime, in between time. But look, thank you for watching this video. I'm about to pick up this zap tie and that's it. You know, I'm about to pick this up and that's it. You seen what we made, we made $34.97 for the first two hours. And now I'm about to get this order, drop it off. And that's gonna be another 1025 added to the tally, bringing me to like 50 bucks. Hopefully I can get this done really quickly, like in 10 minutes. Even though it's a five mile drive, it's a straight shot down Troy Road. So hopefully I can get it done quickly. But either way, I'm gonna be done after this. I'm finna go out and enjoy the rest of my day. Cause I basically just made enough to fill my tank up and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and watch these next videos too. So I can get that YouTube money. Come on now, stop playing with me. Oh, I think it said leave by garage. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.